oscilloscope can take measurements for us and we've got a button here that says measure so again brings up a uh, menu on the screen and each of the parts on the screen corresponds with one of these buttons you just have to be careful which button you're pushing so we can do two different measurements let's choose our first measurement we can use the buttons to change which type of measurement it's going to be and let's do a voltage measurement first off and out of all of these we've got different options the T with the circle means we can use the tracking knob here to change which measurement we're going to take so let's do an RMS measurement and we're going to measure channel 1 now we can turn that on to make it display on the screen so there's our RMS voltage we can do a second measurement at the same time with measure number 2 this one we can choose one of our time settings and again we can use the tracking knob to change which actual measurement we're going to do so let's do the period of this waveform we're measuring channel 1 we go back to our menu and turn that on it comes on the screen as well gives us a period of very close to one millisecond So again, you can use the off, on button. You can also adjust your scale to get a more accurate view of that too. Our cursors and the two dials in here let us move the cursors around on the screen. This left dial is moving both of our cursors at the same time and the right dial will move only the right hand one. So we'll start off with them very close to each other. And let's look at the points where these waves are crossing through zero as they're decreasing to get a comparison between them. <coughs> so there's our left one lined up with the first wave to cross through zero. And here's our right hand one. And at the top of the screen it tells us 164 microseconds is the time offset between those two waveforms.